every day is a great day to preach, but today is without a doubt my favorite day to preach. You'll see why. I love the, uh, they give you an unending uh, source of material, these sinners do. I wish they'd just repent, and uh, then we could stay home and read our Bibles more. See the point of the day in their mind. That's all these guys have on their mind. They're like a bunch of ravenous wolves. These guys are like a bunch of ravenous wolves trying to find the wounded gazelle. And when you walk around dressed like slutty cats and slutty zombies and slutty schoolgirls and you're drunk and can't make a wise decision, these wolves, these ravenous wolf guys are going to take advantage of you, going to take you back in some alley or back to their apartment or hotel room. You need to wise up now. That's why the Bible says, uh, love, uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. You can't love God with all your mind when you're, uh, when you're drunk. Listen, there's no trump card. There's no trump card that's going to get you out of hell. No trump card's going to get you out of hell. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and in the end lose his soul? What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? It's time to grow up. Time to grow up. Time, time to quit being a baby. Time to quit being a baby. Time to put on your big boy pants and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. This, this is a picture. This is a picture of the modern church. You know, we're supposed to uh, we're supposed to learn and grow in God's word. If people were uh, if people were actually growing and listening to God's word and reading God's word every day, they would be spiritual men. And this nation wouldn't be in the situation it's in right now if the men would start acting like godly men. But this is the picture of the modern church. Here, let me get a, let me get you on camera. This is the representative of the man, the man in the modern church. I'm a baby. I'm a baby, Pastor. Feed me, feed me a feel-good message, Pastor. Feed me your feel-good message, Pastor. I'm a baby. I need milk. I need to be bottle-fed. Time for you men to grow up. Time to grow up. Time for you women to go home, put on some clothes, and get right with God before it's God's too late. Oh my goodness, this is just wrong. If I wasn't a Christian, this would still be wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong in so many ways beyond morality. The Bible does say to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, but please put on uh, some looser sweatpants, please. <laughs> A lot of people dressed up as Mormons. Now, I thought Mormons don't even drink. But that's what happens when you're inside of a cult like Mormonism. Behave, baby. You need to behave, baby. You need to stop your sinning and behave. Who's ready? Who's ready? So here's, here's the costumes that women get to choose from for Halloween. Here's the women's choice of costumes. What am I going to be this year? Uh, am I going to be a slutty cat? Or am I going to be a slutty nurse? Or am I going to be a slutty school teacher? Or am I going to be a slutty schoolgirl? Or am I going to be a slutty zombie? How come slutty is always the first word in every, uh, every decision of what you girls dress as for Halloween? Your bubble wrap's not going to save you from God's wrap. Your bubble wrap is not going to save you from the wrap of God on Judgment Day. Time to get right with Him today. Right with God today. Ladies, after about seven Jägermeisters, that guy's going to actually start looking good to you. This is why it's important to be sober. This is why it's important to be sober. Because guys, even even you, uh, even the slutty girls out here, even the slutty girls out here, when they're sober, have a little bit of judgment. After you slutty girls get about seven Jägermeisters in you, uh, there's probably not a guy out here that you wouldn't do. That's what they're counting on. That's what they're counting on. Guys, pervert guys, love drunk girls. Do you know that the Bible says, do not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Neither idolater, nor adulterer, nor fornicator, nor homosexual offender, nor drunkard, nor thief, nor slanderer, nor swindler will inherit the kingdom of God. Let me tell you something, Thor, you're no God. 
Let me tell you something, Thor. You're no god. You're no god, Thor. You need to put down your hammer before God strikes you down. Listen up, Scarlet. Listen up, Black Widow. Listen up, Black Widow. Time to crawl out of that hole of sin you're in and get right with God today. You know, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. It looked like death warmed over. When Jesus Christ comes back, he's coming back for a spotless bride. Listen up, Frankenstein. Uh, sin bad. Sin bad. Hey, when you're in the lake of fire, fire bad. Isn't Frankenstein afraid of fire? Why do you want to sin and go to the lake of fire dressed as Frankenstein? You're not going to be able to do the time warp. When you get thrown into hell, you're not going to be able to do a time warp back to the time when you were alive. Once you're in hell, you're there for good. Listen up, Captain Crunch. There might be serial killers out here today. Your life may end. Your life might end this very night. Going to end up looking like her, a skeleton. That's what you're all going to look like one day. Maverick, you need to land that jet. Goose, all right, you're the same guy. I keep seeing you. Your goose is going to be cooked in the lake of fire if you don't repent, Goose. Let's get right. Let's get right, ladies. You need to be in the army of God. This is ridiculous. The Bible says that a godly woman will dress with modest apparel. No woman in the army of God would dress that way. Wicked. Wicked, wicked. Listen up. The Bible says, Jesus said that you will know them by their fruits. And your fruit is rotten going in to a wicked pub fest. You will know them by their fruit, Jesus said. See, this guy, this guy's already ready for the morning when he wakes up with you and kicks you out of bed. This guy's already ready to kick you out of bed in the morning. Get lost. I'm on to my next drunk girl. Once you wake up sober and see what that guy looks like, he won't have to kick you out of bed. You'll go running. There's no riddle about it. There's no riddle about it. You need to get saved. God's not hiding. God's not hiding from you. Yeah, God's going God's to throw you snap, crackle, and pop. Right? That's what you're going to sound like burning in the lake of fire. What are you? Square? You'd be nuts to go into this event. You would be nuts to go into that event, uh, that wicked den of iniquity. Quit sinning. Quit your sinning. Who's ready? No, angels and de angel halo and devil horns. Joshua said, choose you this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You need to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Reno 911 ain't going to save you on judgment day. You're not going to be able to dial. You're not going to be able to dial Reno 911 on judgment day. You are going to be cast into the lake of fire. Listen up, R2. Listen up, R2. The, the, the plans for salvation are hidden within that book called the Bible. You need to open it up and read it. You can destroy the death star of sin with those secret plans found in the Bible. I think you're robbing God of his glory. I think you're no Robin. Listen up, Joe Dirt. I think the Mad Hatter... Time to get right with God. No, you got your girls are dressed up so sluttily. You're gonna put the whores, you're gonna put the prostitutes out of work tonight. These prostitutes in Charlotte aren't gonna be able to make any money. Uh, no, uh, you're insulting me. Your sin is insulting me. Your sin is insulting me. These girls are dressed like such whores that the prostitutes in Charlotte aren't gonna be able to make any money tonight. The strip clubs and the prostitutes won't be able to make any money tonight because you girls are giving it away for free. You girls are giving it away for free. Listen up, Boba Fett. You don't have to be a slave one to your sin. You don't have to be a slave one to your sin. You could uh, take off that helmet, put down that Mandalorian armor, and get right with God today. It's coming a day when it's going. It's, uh, there he is, a serial killer. That's it. There he is, the serial killer. <laughs> I was ahead of my time, man. <laughs> serial killer. Oh, funny. I got to admit, sometimes, sometimes you sinners are funny. If it wasn't for the fact that you're on your way to hell, some of the things you do would be slightly funny. But the fact that you're on your way to hell makes it not funny at all. We got Maverick or Goose. We got another Goose. Another Goose, huh? Duck, duck, Goose. Your Goose is cooked if you don't repent. 
You need to come out of your shell. You need to come out of your shell, get right with God, come out into the open. Don't worry about Waldo. You need to find Jesus. You need to find Jesus. Waldo's just fine right where he is. You need to find Jesus. You think after all that... No. Not even gonna say it. Who's ready? Listen, folks, in about two hours, you're going to be so drunk, you're not even going to be able to read the banners or comprehend the Bible. Uh, no, you're to be, you're sober now. So come to the Lord Jesus Christ while you're sober now. You need to come to the Lord Jesus Christ in a flash. You need to run quickly away from your sin and come to Jesus Christ. You need to come to Jesus Christ. Don't hop into the pit of hell. Don't hop right into the pit of hell. Come to Jesus Christ. We're giving you the gospel. Thank you very much. If you'd repent, God would thank you. Thank you very much. I just want to be internet famous. I would never, even, even if I was an alcoholic, I wouldn't drink that. That's the best costume I've seen today. Let's go, folks. Let's go, folks. Who's ready? While well, you're sober-minded. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. That's it. Do you understand? God doesn't think God doesn't think your sin is funny or cute one bit. Do you know that drunkards cannot inherit the kingdom of God? Do you understand that? I don't think you actually comprehend that your drunkenness, if you die today, that your drunkenness is going to put you into hell. You need to quit joking around. You think this is a joke? No, I gave up my sin. Praise God. I have been washed. I have been washed of my past sins, and I live holy. We're not joking around here. We're not joking around. We're deadly serious about your sin. Your sin is not Iriman. Your sin is not Iriman. No, nothing happy about it. If you would repent, it would be a happy Halloween. If you'd go home, put on some clothes, and uh, get that dusty Bible off your shelf and read it, then it would be a happy Halloween. What are you, what are you, Trident? Are you, you like Dime Store Trident or something? Poseidon? Poseidon? Uh, no, there's no, there's no God named Poseidon. God, God, you need to worship the God of the Bible, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Jewish Messiah. Yeshua HaMashiach, the name above all names. But your sin has made you look like death. You know, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. That's why you guys love Halloween. You're obsessed with sin and death. You love getting wasted. You love your premarital sex. But the Bible says that fornicators cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, drunkards cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You girls causing these men to lust. You think these guys need any more reason to lust? You could come out here in a burlap sack and these perverts would still lust after you. But instead, you're so committed to your sin, you've got to come out on a relatively cool day wearing next to nothing, causing these perverts to lust even more. Wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Who's ready? Why well, you guys are sober-minded? Was this a conventioneer and his whore or something? I'm not sure what that outfit is. No. You need to not worry about Waldo. You need to find Jesus. You need to find Jesus before you get drunk today. Listen up, Girl Scout. You're no Girl Scout going into a, going into a pub crawl. Wicked. Oh, yeah. You're a girl who doesn't want any attention. Oh, turn the camera off. Yeah, what are you going to say to 10,000 guys who are taking pictures of you today about how hot you are? Yeah, that's a girl who doesn't want attention. What a bunch of hypocrites. Yeah, because we're exposing your sin. That's why you don't want the camera on you. Because your sin is being exposed. Wicked, wicked, wicked.